are you here for? And that's right. the whole thing. Every one of us needs to remember, what are we here for? We're not here to just go make money and get rich. No. Right. What are we here for? Right. right. Every one of us, I know every one of us had a, had a purpose before we chose to come. And the challenge for us is to actually tap into that and remember why we came. Mm. We come here to earth and it's like a little kid in a candy shop. There's this and there's this and there's this and there's this. Oh, look at this and look at this. And we get all distracted and we forget. It's kind of like as a little child, you know, sometimes your mom would send you somewhere. My mom would send me to the neighbor's house, walk over there and borrow some eggs if she was out or something like that. And you're walking along the way and you, you see these berries. Oh my, the berries are ripe. You start picking them. You see this, you see this and you get distracted and pretty soon time goes on and your mom's like, Hey, where are the eggs? Right, right. <laughs> and that's, that's what we do when we come here. We forget what purpose we were sent for. Wow. You know what? You hit something on the head. I've been dealing with that for the last two, three days. Do a lot of research on that. The word, yeah. the word remember. And that's another thing that goes over our heads. Remember, remember. And you've mentioned this before, which is, which is, uh, which is pretty unique because a lot of people don't mention that word remember. But, um, Remember to recall, to uh, be mindful of. So we talk about the subconscious a lot. And to remember, it doesn't mean we, we've forgotten. Right. It means we were distracted. We were distracted. But it's there. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it's there. So we got to recall it, be mindful of uh, what's important. So in in the Bible, you'll see quite often, You'll see quite often God, you'll see either David or another uh, prophet says, do you remember, remember this, remember that? Or you'll see, you'll see the scripture says, and God remembered. He remembered and blessed Rachel, or blessed Leah, or, or he did this or did that. Remember. And that's not saying God forgets. It, it, it's, it's more of an affirmation when you say, when these people are saying, remember God, you said this. It's like when you're a child or our children say, remember mom, remember dad. They're saying, be mindful of what you're saying. And it's an affirmation more so. They're being respectful. But it's an affirmation yeah. to uphold the covenant, the agreement you said you would do. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so they they're being respectful. So they're not just gonna tell you, but they're they're kind of affirming. Remember, mm -hmm. this was the covenant. Remember, this was the agreement. You said I can go to my friend's house. Yep, yep. So it's an <laughs> affirmation. More, it's more of an affirmation. And any time in the Bible, God says it says God remembers. I'm telling you, look this up. Any time it says God remembers, it's followed with an action. Every yeah, time. Yeah, that's true. That Every is true. time. That it's is followed. true. Yes. He's not just daydreaming. <laughs> no. He's recalling. He's holding himself. He, he won't be a liar. He won't be made a liar. So I'm affirming this is the covenant. This was the promise. Let's, let's uphold it. If you enjoyed this video and previous videos, go to www dot angel to angel help dot org and donate that's www dot angel to angel help dot org and donate we provide services for the homeless the mentally ill the elderly and the youth